Hi there, I'm Kristen McCauley and I am the in-house makeup artist for Perfect 365. Perfect 365 Pro is the reason why we're here today. I'm going to be your educator on how to use Perfect 365 Pro, get you started on all the functions in the app, and just sit and relax. We're going to answer all the questions that you have for today. So first we're going to start off with how do you register for this thing? <laughs> So how you find the app in the App Store is you type in Perfect 365 Pro and you find the purple icon that says Pro underneath. It looks similar to the th Perfect 365 icon, but this one is a different shade of purple and it also says Pro right underneath. Um, what you're going to do is just download that um, and then it's going to have a registration screen. So let me walk you through that. So some of you may be wondering, what's the difference between Perfect 365 and Perfect 365 Pro? How are they different? Who is eligible to use Perfect 365 Pro? So Pro is for makeup artists. For makeup artists that work at a counter, like at a department store, or a freelance makeup artist, or anybody that does makeup professionally will find that Pro will make their job much easier. Perfect 365 is more of a makeup try-on app where you can try on looks from different brands and from different makeup artists. Now you can actually, as a pro user, submit your digitized looks to be featured in Perfect 365 so that the Perfect 365 community can try on your looks. So either or, you're gonna probably want both apps. So download both if you don't have them already. To start the registration process, there's a uh, text that down here that says request an account. So you're gonna hit that, and you wanna fill out as much in information as you can because we do have a screening process for downloading the app. We wanna make sure we have quality pro makeup artists using the app. Make sure you fill out this as best as possible because we do send out um, newsletters to the emails. We do um, have once in a while need to get in touch with you to make sure you're not having any problems with the app. Um, so go ahead and, and fill out your email address, a password, confirm your password, and once you're in, then there's going to be a little bit more questions asked. So the next part of this is it asks for a photo. Now this should not be just any photo from your camera. It has to be something that looks professional. A professional headshot with a very clear image of your face is what is preferred because when clients go to try on your looks, they do see a profile with your picture in it. So you wanna make sure that your clients aren't looking at a picture of your dog or flowers. They wanna see who you are. So definitely make sure that this photo that you upload is something that's professional and that you would want thousands of Perfect 365 users to look at. Um, and it also helps with our screening process. If it looks like someone didn't care and took a picture of the floor, you might not be approved right away. You would probably have to uh, resubmit your application with a different photo so that we understand that you're a professional. So please make sure your photos are something that you are proud of. The next part is definitely your ID that is your email address that is already pre-populated in there. Your first name and your last name is also what you're going to be identified as as a professional. So please fill this out with the name that you want to be ad addressed as when the clients get a hold of you. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name in here. Krista McCauley, very easy to do here. Make sure it has uppercase, lowercase, everything looks professional. Uh, business phone number, now this is also important um, so that clients can contact you. So, um, so definitely put a phone number that you would like to be reached at if a client needs to call you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone number in there. And then the next section is a short bio. Now this is also as equally as important as your name because this is gonna have information about you that is displayed under your bio profile on Perfect 365 when clients are browsing your looks. 
So you definitely want it to say maybe how long you've been in the business, where you usually work, are you a freelance artist, do you work at a makeup counter, um, what types of clients you normally work with, are you a celebrity makeup artist. This is where you get to shine and let us know who you are. Um, you're going to put your address if you work at a, a walk-in store or you have an address that you accept clients at, you want to put that there, but it is not required. The address part is definitely not required here. Uh, personal phone you can put here and your sales phone. So your sales phone could be if you work at, let's say you work at Nordstrom and you work at Chanel, the Chanel counter, you would put the uh, sale phone there so that people can get a hold of you at your counter. Now, you can fill in gender, you can fill in um, the company that you work for, um, and we actually require at least one social media account. That helps with our screening process. We, will, we want to see your portfolio, we want to see what types of clients you work with. Um, definitely for the Instagram handle, you would just place in the handle that you go by on Instagram. Um, YouTube, if you have a YouTube URL for your channel, please put that whole URL there so that we can view it. And for Facebook, do not put your, do not put your email address here. This is a, a, a problem that we've been having with people that are signing up is they're putting their email address here. We're not able to find you by your email address, so please look at your Facebook profile grab the whole URL and put it there, not just the handle. Um, we're gonna fix that as soon as we can so that you can know to put the whole URL so that we can look at your Facebook profile. So after you have uploaded your photo and filled out all the information, you have to agree to the terms and conditions. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit agree. And then you're gonna see this screen here. So everybody sees this screen. It's nothing to panic about. It is a it shows your email address. It says, in review, we will be contacting you soon. So this is what you're supposed to see when you're done registering. So we actually get um, a notification saying that there's somebody that needs to register. So we go ahead and look at your um, whatever social media profile you provided to check to make sure that you are a professional makeup artist in the business. Um, if we do not see that, and if we feel that you do not um, fit the criteria of a makeup artist, then we will reject your account. If you feel that that is incorrect, you can resubmit, go back into the, the screen here at the beginning and hit request an account and definitely fill out all the information thoroughly so that we know that you're a makeup artist and then we'll be able to approve your account. Um, so yes, that's the approval process registration process, so hopefully that helped you.